Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys a couple different possible methods on resolving if you're unable to communicate with a device or resource. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we are going to start off by opening up the start menu, type in CMD. Best result should come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, you want to go type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS. Flush DNS should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Go ahead and hit enter on your keyboard. It should come back a Windows IP configuration successfully flush to DNS resolver cache. Next command you want to type in is netsh space winsock win S-O-C-K, space reset, again exactly how it appears on my screen. Go ahead and hit enter on your keyboard. Should come back, we'll successfully reset the Winsock catalog. You must reset the computer in order to complete the reset. Go ahead and close out of here and restart your computer. And there you go. Hopefully I was able to resolve the problem. If you're still having an issue, we can try resetting our network settings as well. So in order to do that, open up the search menu, type in settings, best match, come back with settings. Go ahead and open that up. You want to select the three horizontal lines up at the top left and then select network and internet. You want to go down near the bottom where it says advanced network settings. Go ahead and left click on that. And then underneath Network Reset, Reset All Network Adapters to Factory Settings. Go ahead and left click on that. So this will remove and then reinstall all of your network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings. You might need to reinstall other networking software afterwards, such as VPN client software or virtual switches. Your PC will be restarted. If you're using an Ethernet connection, you won't need to have put a password back in when you restart your computer. If you're on a Wi-Fi based connection, you will need to have your Wi-Fi passcode nearby when you want to reconnect back to the internet. So go ahead and select reset now. Are you sure you want to reset your network settings? Go ahead and select yes. And you will be signed out within five minutes, but we're going to take the initiative and just go ahead and reset our computer manually here. And there you go, guys. Hopefully that was able to resolve your issues with your DNS server. And as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. Do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.